Hey guys, this is Eli from MacGuide. Today we're going to be going over how to go ahead and update your Waydo Evo. Right here, we got your basic necessities, right? You got your foil that's all put together. So you got your propulsion unit, mast, battery board all put together. You got your remote and you're going to need a device, phone, tablet, whatever it is. Okay, so to start, we'll go ahead and power on the remote. Let that power on and then go ahead and turn on the board by holding the power button. Cool. Those are your happy noises. You, al you always want to hear those when you turn your foil on and you're going to want to make sure it's paired. This auto paired because I um, paired these just before this so we wouldn't have any issues. But if you do need to manually pair it, you're going to hold the power and minus button here at the same time until your remote buzzes. It's going to come up scanning. Should come up with at least a or two devices. And to select that, you're going to go and pull the trigger once. It's going to say pairing successful. And just to test that, you can hold the minus button to unlock and give your motor a go. So once everything's Paired, motor's good. We're gonna go ahead and get into our phone here. And go ahead and go to your settings. Um, you'll be looking for your masts Wi-Fi signal Usually it'll be like 4F, 4W, and then some other combination of numbers and letters. Sometimes you'll have to turn your Wi-Fi on and off a couple times to get it to pop up. There it is, that's the 4F200061. The password from the factory will always be 123 four, five, six, seven, eight, hit join or enter depending on what kind of device you're using and wait for that check mark to pop up next to it saying that it's connected. From there, we're going to go ahead and open up our Waydo app and come over to the right side of your screen. There's going to be a little icon that kind of looks like a clock. Hopefully that pops up and we're going to hit that top one there. When it's highlighted blue, that means it's selected. So you're going to want to make sure that your flyer Evo is selected and hit confirm and connect. When that disconnect button pops up, it means you're connected. You can go ahead and tap anywhere on the screen. The bottom of your screen, you're going to see four different icons that say home, board, friend, and my. You're going to want to select board. And there you can see all the things that need updated. So we're gonna go ahead and hit update and then it'll pull you to another screen where you can start the update process on any and all of the things that need update, updated. So we're gonna start with the mast today. So I'm just gonna hit update on the mast and it starts going. Sometimes it'll take a second, this time it didn't. If it does take a second, don't worry about it. It will automatically start. When updating your mask, sometimes it will slow down around 50%. Nothing to worry about, just let it go through. You can see right now it stopped at exactly 50. You hear a long beep, long tone, and it's continuing. So now it's going 53, 54, and so on. Make sure that the device that you're updating on stays on through the entire process. Otherwise, it will close the app and disconnect from the Wi-Fi and you'll have to restart your update. So we're at about 99% right now. And once it gets to 100, it'll pop up and ask you and tell you that there's an upgrade in progress. Go ahead and hit confirm. You'll hear those tones start. Wait for those tones to stop and um, until you can move on to your next one. It'll say finish on your screen. That's not an actual button. It's just letting you know that it's in the finishing steps of its update. So the real cue as to when it's done is when that beeping stops. 
like that. So you'll hear that did, 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 and then you're free to move on. So we're just gonna go ahead and go down to GPS is the next one on the line and hit update on it. And it's gonna go right through. GPS usually moves a little quicker and it'll go straight through. You should be okay. Just make sure your device stays on. GPS just finished up. So we'll move right on down. So we're gonna go straight to the battery and make sure all the parts of the foil are done first. So we're gonna go ahead and hit update on the battery. And that'll go straight through. A couple things to note while this, while we wait for this battery to update. Um, if it ever feels like it's stalling out or it has that buffering symbol and it's telling you to please wait for an extended period of time, I would say longer than a minute or two, you can always close out your app and open it back up again as long as the update that you started last has already finished. Um, if you don't let that finish first, it will cancel out that update and you'll need to redo it. And so that just adds time onto it. It won't harm the foil or anything of that nature, but it will just extend the time that you're trying to update this. Same goes with for the Wi-Fi signal. Sometimes after the battery or mast, your Wi-Fi from the mast will stop um, being received by your phone. So you'll need to go back into your settings and reconnect and then close out the Waydo app and reopen it. No worries, just make sure to be patient and watch diligently as these update. As that battery finishes updating, pay attention to the screen on your battery. It will shut off by itself and it will power back on by itself. Do not move on or close out your app or power off your phone until the battery screen has come back on because that's when you know that the battery has finished updating. So there it'll pop up. And now we're back to it showing the percentage of battery, how many volts are going through it. And we can move on to the battery BMS. So we're gonna hit update on that. This one is usually a little smaller update, so it'll go a lot quicker. Um, and as that's finishing, if you pay attention to the screen on your battery again, it'll show a BMS updating and a percentage and a bar to show you how far along that is. And that'll also usually go pretty quick. As that updates, we can move on to the final piece, which will be the remote today. You won't always have this many things to update. Sometimes it will be just the mast just the battery, sometimes just the remote, but you do need everything paired and connected to the Wi-Fi in order to update. BMS just fin finished updating. So we're gonna scroll up to the remote, hit update on the remote. Remote you will also most likely want to plug into its charger because it does take quite a long time. And if you have a low battery and the remote dies, you'll either have to restart that remote and restart that entire upgrade process or it may brick the remote that is a possibility so just be diligent and plug it in ahead of time and either have a full charge or have it plugged in as you're updating and as stated before the remote will take the longest to update just how it is you just have to watch it so when your remote finishes upgrading um, it will turn itself on, the screen will go blank, and then it will come back on. From there, you'll know that everything's been updated because that remote was the last piece you did. So what you'll do, just to be safe, is you'll close out your Waydo app entirely, open it back up, and go through the process again. So you'll hit that little clock icon, make sure that Evo is selected, hit confirm and connect, and go to board. From there, you'll see that that update button is gone on all of them, and you won't be able to get to that next screen that has all the updates required because there won't be any. And that way you'll know that your 
foil is completely updated and you'll be good to go and go rip out on the water.